So in today's video, we're going to be installing solar panels. As you can tell, my van is far from finished. However, we did get a Max Air fan. Where is it? Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. We did get a Max Air fan installed. So the next step before we can actually finish off and do the ceiling is to do the solar panels. So first off, let me show you everything I've got, including what solar panels I'm installing. So first off, as you can tell, I have gone for the Renogy 200 watt flexible solar panels. Uh, I think these cost me about, I got one off, I think they're about 175 each or something like that. I've got two of them, one of the other ones over there. So the way you actually install this, or the way I'm doing so, is I'm actually going to use like Sikaflex or uh, self-adhesive to actually stick this on top of my van instead of drilling it into the frame of the van. I've seen a lot of people do this and I'll show you now what tools and stuff that I'm uh, gonna be using. First off is the sealant I'm using. I've seen a video on this, it's called CT1. This is apparently some really heavy shit. So I'm gonna be using that preferably. However, I do have some Sikaflex 522 as well. Uh, this is what everyone seems to use, but I don't know. I've watched a bit of both. So I might put a bit of both on it and yeah, hopefully it does, uh, does the job. Secondly, I've got two of these uh, solar Y connect this because I'm gonna be wiring this up in parallel because if you want to watch a want to watch a video Greg Virgo is his name he makes like all the best videos on like camera builds and stuff and I'm literally I don't really know that much about this but I've just copied what he's done and what he's doing as my build is pretty much the same as the build he's doing right now as well so why connect this some solar extension leads as well then these are six millimeter and they are kind of three meters long I only need three meters but there's some cable ties to um, Make sure it's all tidy on top of the roof. And then I've got a solar fuse connector here, a 30 amp, because again, if you watch the video of Greg Virgo, I will probably link it below actually. He basically says to put this in just to be safe, because uh, as you're wiring up in parallel, you actually there's a lot of ampage going through the cables. So yeah, just to be safe, we've got one of them as well. And then obviously the injury gland that we're gonna be putting, drilling a hole in the roof. The most important thing about van build is actually drilling a hole in the roof, because once you do that, you can't really go back. Lastly, some, I think this is clear, just clear duct tape, because just to make sure these are sucked down 100%, I'm gonna tape the edges and the sides down with this clear duct tape just to make sure it's 100% down. And yeah, that's it. That's it for the product. Let's get measuring. I'm trying to figure out where it's all gonna fit and then we can um, get cracking. But first, I'm actually gonna watch the video again that Greg Virgo posted just to, you know, refresh. Refresh the, uh, the old noggin. So actually, job number one will actually be to clean the roof because I've not cleaned it in a while. And obviously before you put any type of ceiling down or stick anything up there, you wanna clean it. So I'm gonna go clean that now and then we'll get cracking to actually putting out the solar panels on the roof and and seeing how it all lays out. The van roof is now all squeaky clean. If you're wondering what I'm using, by the way, you can just use like an old rag, I guess, and some soapy water. But just a little tip if you are thinking about cleaning a van or something, the Silla Bang stuff right here is just this black mold remover. It's literally the best thing to get up grime and dirt and stuff. Like, it was pretty filthy up there. But now, a few sprays of that and a quick wipe, it is uh, good to go. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna put the camera up there. I'm gonna see how it's all gonna lay out. And then we can kind of think about where we're gonna place everything. And then hopefully, then we can get start sticking things down. I need to probably do a little test wiring as well, just to make sure you know I've got all the right bits. And it's all gonna work. And then yeah, I'll do that once it's all laid out. So I'll see you on, on the roof. Well, I know it's not gonna go that Way. It's way too big. The only way it's going to fit is going sideways like that. It's going to have to come to the end. I don't even think that's going to fit it. Is that, that's pushed right to the end there. Yeah, it is. Jesus, that's right on that. I don't, oh no, this isn't. I don't even know this is going to fit. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure I got the measurements right. I'm kind of second guessing myself now. Oh my god, no. It's actually not going to fit. I mean, the only way is if it overlaps. But I'm going to lose power. Unless it goes over the edge like that. But then isn't that just gonna... Oh shit. Well then, boys and girls. What the shit do I do here? The only way I can do it is if it overlaps. Like, you don't want to overlap it. Oh my god, shit. It does hang over slightly, but it's not like loads. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But like, surely I can overhang it like that, right? And just tape down the middle. It's not. Ha it's hanging over, but it's not hanging over loads. And what I could do, I could put a piece of silicon on the black bars here, on these bits, so it sticks to that. That's the only way, that's literally the only way that I can do it. I have just been fiddling around with it, trying to get the best possible scenario, and I think, people are gonna watch this and probably think, what the hell are you doing? But you know what, I think this is probably the only way in which I can actually like do it and not lose efficiency of my solar panels. So, let me show you. So I've lined these up kind of best I could. They overlap in the middle just a little bit there, and then they come out to about just on the edge of the van here. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some silicon and stuff, some sealant on the black thing so it sticks, sticks it down and then tape over it just so it puts some pressure on it. Also, I notice these, these things here, and I'm thinking as well, possibly, I could drill through there and I could maybe put a zip tie on there. But this is what we've 
we've gone for. This is what I think is the best possible scenario. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill my hole over there, run my cables and get wiring. Oh, so I'm not gonna get wiring. I'm gonna just drill my hole and then I think we can get to sticking it down. I need to mask off as well where I'm gonna actually put the solar panels just to make sure. So yeah. We are on the roof, which means one thing. We are drilling down into the van. I'm quite scared to be honest. Shit, I can't even see anything in this stupid goggles. Oh my god, nearly went. Oh my what stupid fucking ladders, man. Fuck off. Mate. What the fuck? I don't know what this is made out of, but it's so hard to fucking drill. Drills is not powerful enough. Oh shit, it's nearly there. Oh, I've done it. Woo! Jesus, I'm absolutely sweating as well. Oh my God, but good haul that though. Have a look at that. Just gonna file that out, make sure it's all clean up all the metal shards as well. I'm gonna get my hoover and hoover all that up and then um, put some hammer right on it. Once that's all there uh, thingied up, we can. I don't even know. I need to check where even that is inside actually. You don't really need a lot when you put this on, to be honest, just literally just around the edges and stuff. So I know everyone uses conduit for this little thing here, but I think the only thing I can actually use is some spared like dodo mat, sound deadening stuff to put around. Just to put around the edge and then feed the cables through that. I know that might not be, this might not be the best thing in the world, but I think for, what you, you know, what, I've, what the stuff I've got, that is all I'm going to be able to to use for it. Because the cable, just so the cables don't rub on the, on the metal, but that should put some silicon around that as well. Once the cables are through, and then that should be should be it for this segment. Now we've got to do. We're going to silicon the solar panels down to the car or to the van, which I'm quite scared of to be honest, because there is no turning back now once you've done that. And I think I know the way I'm going to do it as well. First things first, we're going to be using the CT1 sealant. We're going to put this on the top first. I'll show you where I'm going to be putting it and stuff. Let's just load it into the, into the gun. I'm actually quite scared. Let's go up and put it on the roof. As you can see here, the masking tape is lined out. I mean, I'm literally putting it on all of the ridges, every single one with this CT, CT stuff. So let's get to putting it on. I'm not going light with it either. This is when I run out or something. Let's get the solar panel in there. Put it on. All right, let's get. Oh. I don't really know how to do this. Except just put it down. Oh, I've got it all in my hands now. Right, that's the first one down. Oh, oops. The only other thing to do now is like under the panel. It overlaps. I can just get some in there, just so I know it's stuck in there. That's all I need. And then I'm gonna get some white gaffer tape just to go over, go over that as well. But I think that is, that is the solar panels installed. I hope, I really hope this isn't even flying off one day. I'm just stuck with no power. All right, so the cable is clipped. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna feed the positive cable through. You get your negative cable, 
and I'm just going to do the same now. Alright, so they're both routed through, both there. This is kind of what I've got so far. I've got my Y connectors here, all that. I've got the cables routed, routed through here. So now, all that's left to do now is honestly to connect them up, but I need to find out the best way for like cable management uh, purposes. I'm not too sure what has been happening with my camera, but it keeps cutting off. This is everything I've done since my camera cut off. So I'm currently just cable tying it all down, all nice and neat. I'll show you the end product, but this is kind of what I'm doing right now. It looks messy because obviously I need to trim, trim these bits, but this is, I think I've done a pretty good job. I don't know what it looks like from down below. I'm hoping you can't see it, but you never know. Um, I think I've done a decent job. All right, so everything is all t tidied and cabled down. All that is left to do now is seal this thing right here off. Here goes nothing. Can always put some on the outside, Connor. I may as well, just, you know what, I'm gonna put some on the edge of this as well. Probably not the best way of doing this, to be honest, but it is what it is, you know? And I'm literally just squash that boy down, like so. Right, boys and girls, I'm back up on the roof. And like I said, the next job is this clear gaffer tape, you could say. So what my plan is, I'm gonna just put a long strip, maybe a few layers of it, just on the ridge here. I can't really, I mean, I could maybe do it on the edge here. I don't know if I should do that. I mean, I can do that at a later date if I need to. And then just along the back there as well, on the gaps that I can do. And I probably will do in the middle here as well. So without any further ado, let's gaffer this up. Jesus, I'm gonna have to do like patches of it. Oh, nice. Nice, I'll tell you what. That is good. Because the only thing I'm thinking of is if I'm flying down a motorway or the Autobahn or something and wind catches here, it's just gonna lift it up and take it away. That one, that's a bit crap, that piece, but that worked this job anyway. Maybe I'll go over it again. Maybe I'll go over it again. And then that is the middle complete and definitely 100% taped up. This should be enough. I mean, I've got the sealant, which is some strong shit, and then I've got this gaffer tape. But I mean, this is not, not hard stuff, do you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure it's waterproof and weatherproof as well. If it's not, then I'm pretty fucked, but I'm pretty sure it is. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go finish it off on that side, and we should be, should be good, I think. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back on the roof. Look at that cable management, that is some horny stuff. Right, so all that needs doing now is a gaffer tape, just to do on, on the back here. I need to kind of put it under the cables and stuff. It's gonna be quite tricky, I think. But that is the last job that um, I believe needs doing. So first off, I need to get rid of this masking tape. If I can. I don't know how I'm gonna get under this. Um, haha. Literally just like that. So, there you have it. I've just given everything a quick wipe with some wonder wipes just to get all the, because there's a bits of sealant and like silicon and stuff on the solar panel. So, giving them a wipe, it's all clean. And um, yeah, I think that is all for today's video. I'll show you one more time. So, as you can see, solar panels are there. This is all the cabling that I did. I don't think I need to add any more cable ties. I think that should be okay. This is obviously gonna set overnight. I hope this is sealed. If I start getting a leak, I know where it's going to come from. Uh, tomorrow I might go around this again as well, the ceiling. I might put another layer on just to make sure, but yeah, let me know uh, Let me know how I did. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like. If you've learned something new, I'd appreciate a subscribe as well. To be fair, you probably won't learn a lot from me. However, you'll watch someone who's never done anything like this. I've never built a van. I've never done any kind of handiwork, do you know what I mean? This is all new stuff for me, but I'm doing it because this is what I want to do. I want to go traveling and live in my van and I want to be able to work from it as well so the main reason I've gone with quite a lot of solar you could say is because I want to work on the road as well you know I do editing for a living so yeah hopefully it will all come together so if you had enjoyed the video I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video I don't know what it's going to be maybe it'll be putting a charge charger controller in I'm not sure what it's going to be to be honest I didn't make a video on the fan because I was way too stressful but yeah like you said I'm waffling now
I'll see you all in the next video.